who God's people, the one who will sacrifice anything for him, the one that would go to battle, don't care who they lose as long as God is with them. They don't care who they lose, where they got to go, how they got to move. That is God's people. That is the one who's chasing after God's heart. She can get, They care about nothing but being a daughter, a sister, a brother, an auntie to their heavenly father. That's all they care about. You can't mess with God's people. You can't do them anyway. When they go through the storm, they're going through something that is greater than ever. When they go through a storm, they praise their way through. They worship their way through. They don't worry. They give all their problems to God because they know that God is fighting for them. They know that God is fighting on their behalf. They know that God is going to move a mountain for them. God loves his people. God loves his children. There's nothing that he wouldn't do for his children. All his children have to ask and they shall receive anything that they want for him. As long as they're not asking in vain. Make sure that that make sure that you're not asking God for something so that you can try to eat on somebody else. Make sure you're asking God for things that's with a pure, clear heart, with clear intentions. That's what you want God to move on your behalf and how you want him to move. You got to make sure that you are willing to go where God is willing to take you and do what God is willing to do because God is going to bless you. He's going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have any room to receive. That's what God is going to do. That's what God's about. God's about blessing you by all means necessary. God is about keeping you safe, allowing no harm or danger to come to you. God is about his, God is about your business because you is about his business. And when you're about his business, he blesses your business. He keep your money flowing. He keep you in on the peace and the knowledge that, that he has given you. He's working things out on your behalf. Continue to trust in him, continue to move on his, uh, continue to trust in him, continue to move how he wants you to move. Just know that God got you. Just know that God is keeping you. Just know that God is making a way out of no way for you. Just know that it is all God. It is all him. It is all him. And he loves you and he's taking care of you. No, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. No adversity, no storm that comes your way is going to take you because God is for you. God has a blessing coming for you. Hold on to your faith. Hold sight of what God has promised you. Take your eyes off of your situation and praise God in the midst of your situation, in the midst of your pain, in the midst of your guilt, in the midst of your shame, in the midst of your hurt. Praise God because he is working on your behalf. He is fighting for your behalf. You hungry? Praise God for the freezer full of food he's about to restore for you. Praise your lights off. Praise God for him, the money that he's giving to you in your account. Your car got repro. Praise God for your brand new vehicle with no car notes. Your, um... You lost your job. Praise God for him giving you that business and your business selling out in the first month. Praise God for whatever storm that you may be going through. Your children are cutting up. Praise God that the, the, the your children have overturned and they learn respect. Praise God for him moving on your behalf for making things better for you. Just continue to praise God by all means necessary. Continue to praise him. Praise him going up. Praise him going down. Praise him in going in, praise him going out, praise him while you're sleeping, praise him while you're laying down, praise him while you're walking, praise him while you're talking, praise him, just all, just keep praise, constantly praise off your on your mind, off your lips, constantly praise God for what he has done, constantly praise him for how he's moving on your behalf, because God is worthy, he is moving for you because he loves you, God wants you to know that you are more than a conqueror, God wants you to know that he's moving mountains on your behalf, God wants you to know that it is he, that is keeping you. God wants you to know that when the, when the adversaries come against you, God wants you to know, so wipe your weeping eyes. God say he is catching all your tears. God say he see your pain. God say he is hearing you. He was hearing your cries when you crying out for help. God say he's sending somebody to help you. God say a helpmate is on his way. God say you don't have to do it by yourself anymore. God say you're not struggling. God say that he is blessing somebody. He say all those people that mistreated you and misused you. God say he got rid of those people for you. God said, because he's sending you a suitable mate, someone who's going to help you. Somebody's going to help you rear your children. Somebody's going to make sure that your bills are paid. Somebody's going to make sure that y'all not going without anything. Somebody's going to make sure that y'all are fed. Somebody that's going to love you wholeheartedly and want to take care of you, want to provide for you, want to be there for you. Not somebody that's going to talk about you and kick you, instead of kick you while you're dog. God say he's renewing, he's restoring some things in your life. Won't you try him on today? Won't you allow him to move 
on your behalf? Won't you know that he is God and God all by yourself? Won't you know that those tears, those tears that you had cried, God has caught them. The prayers that you have prayed, he has answered them. That fast that you went on, he had drawn near to you. God said you draw near to him and he'll draw near to you. He said, knock and it shall be open. God said, anything you ask in his name, he shall give it to you. God said, he's moving on your behalf because he loves you. God said, he is for you. He's a hundred percent for you. God said, and he want, he's moving with you. He's moving with you wherever you go. God said, you stay focused. You stay focused upon the task that's at hand. God said, he asked that you would continue, continue, continue to move up on your behalf. God said, because he loves you. He's always fighting for you. And he's going to continue to fight for you and do his will in his way in your life. God say that he is grateful. He is grateful for you that you surrendered everything into him and that you trusted in him. God say, because he loves you. God say, he wants nothing but the best for you. He wants the best to happen for you and to you. So God say, you hold on to his unchanging hand and allow him to move on your behalf. Well, I love you guys. It's your girl, Bree. I wish you guys a blessed and prosperous, prosperous, prosperous Wednesday. Remember, no weapon formed against you. Remember, whatever storm you might be in right now, in the midst of it, is only a test of your faith. Remember that God loves you despite of your shortcomings and your downfall. Remember, none of us is perfect. We are all on boring times. We are all struggling in some areas of our life. Remember, so whatever you doing, however you doing it, hold your head high. Because this too shall pass. I love you. God love you. And I'm praying for you. And I'm praying with you. And God says that we should be helpmates to one another and pray for one another. So remember that God loves you. And God is with you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a blessed night.